Namaste Wild Heart Yogis. This class is going to be about a 20 minute heart opening focused class. So working on opening up our chest. So this class is good for anybody that sits at a desk all day and is hunched over. Maybe you drive all day, so hands on the wheel. Just anybody that has issues with like rounding through the shoulders really working on opening and rolling the shoulders like down and back so finding space and then that also helps with proper posture okay all right so let's just get started just come to a comfortable seat on your mat close the eyes ground down through the sit bones sit up nice and tall take a deep breath in through the nose filling up expanding the belly the ribs hold the breath Big clearing sigh out. One more time, just like that. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Opening the class with one ohm. Take a deep breath in. Om. Gently blink the eyes open. Just bring the hands to the knees. Start to circle the neck here in one direction. So just big circles with the neck, dropping the ear to one side. Head all the way back, ear to the opposite side, chin to chest. Getting all of the kinks out of the neck. Maybe hanging out in one area a little bit longer if that's feeling a little bit more stuck. And then switching directions, just mindful movement in the neck, just waking everything up. Good. Just tuning into the body, noticing how you're feeling. Noticing what feels tight in the body. Coming back through center, find your tall spine and just start to roll the shoulders up to the ears and down the back a few times. Finding the space in the shoulders. If our chest is tight, then typically our shoulders are nice and tight as well. <laughs> and then switching directions just a few times, rolling the shoulders forward the awkward way. Good. Coming back through center, find a tall spine. And then just walk the hands out in front of you, make your way into child's pose. So bring the heels together to touch, knees walk wide. Sit the seat back in space. Relax the third eye down to the mat. Crawl the fingertips really far out in front of you. Sit the seat back in space. And then think about just surrendering through the upper body. So finding something more to just let go of here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Just surrendering down to the mat, feeling the heart starting to spill a little bit closer towards the earth. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. Slowly start to slide the hands back towards the knees. Come to standing on your heels and then place the hands behind you. Fingers pointing towards the sit bones. Puff up the heart. Lift the seat. Drop the head back. Open up the heart. First heart opener. Finding space here. Relaxing the head back in space, noticing if you're holding tension in your jaw, your brow, big inhale, exhale, slowly come all the way back to seated on your heels. So come, bring the heels together to touch and then sit high on the heels, okay? Reach the arms up overhead, find a full body stretch, bring the gaze up, interlace the hands and put the palms of the hands up to the sky. Finding this length here, drop the head back, deep breath in, exhale, hands to the nape of the neck, and then just find a gentle pull on the neck, relax the shoulders away from the ears, feel the stretch in the shoulders, in the neck, in the back, deep breath in, deep breath out, we're going to move here, so on the inhale, fan the arms open, press the head back and the hands, Puff up the heart. 
exhale round through the spine chin to chest hug everything in inhale open the heart gaze goes up find space exhale roll through the spine chin to chest one more time inhale open through the heart exhale roll through the spine chin to chest next inhale open up the heart Place the hands out in front of you and just make your way into your tabletop position. Hips over knees, shoulders over wrists, moving through a couple rounds of cat cows, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the spine, gaze is at the belly, press the floor away from you, waking up the spine. Inhale, arch up, look up, shine the heart forward. Exhale, round it out, gaze is at the belly. Last time, inhale, arch. Exhale, round it up. Now just begin to invite in some organic movement. So just moving intuitively here, finding some side to side motions with the spine, bringing the seat towards the heels, just waking up the body. And so just taking whatever honors your body today, right? So just noticing where you're holding tension and inviting in that movement, inviting in the breath to those areas. Come back to your neutral tabletop and then bend into the elbows, lower your chest down on the mat, your booty sticks up, lower the chin down on the mat. Good. And then slide the hands out in front of you, come into your puppy pose. You might have to slide your hips back over your knees just a little bit more. Try to rest the chest and the chin down on the mat. If you can't get here, like that's totally fine. You can take puppy pose with the head down. So you're just thinking about finding more space in the shoulders and opening up the heart. So it's spreading the shoulders open and then resting the heart down to the mat. Three more breaths here. Maybe adjusting if the chest started to slide forward or if you started to open up a little bit more, you need a deeper stretch at this point. Shifting the hips back over the knees a little bit more. One more big inhale. Exhale. Next inhale, just slowly slide all the way forward onto your belly. We're going to take a sphinx pose. <clears throat> elbows underneath the shoulders, hands directly out from the elbows. Grip the mat with the fingertips, roll the shoulders away from the ears, and think about pulling the heart forward between the shoulders. So it's like you're shining your heart forward. Yeah, finding that space. So like, I used to have a teacher that used to reference the Care Bears in this post. So the Care Bears used to have their like symbols on their chest and then their like magic would shine their Care Bear powers through their chest. So you're kind of like a Care Bear here, finding that space, shining your powers out into the world. And one more breath. Exhale, lower everything down. Send the right arm out to the right side of your mat. Roll over onto your right side of your body. Drop the right ear down to the mat and then drop the left foot behind you. So you're in this chest opener on the right side of the body. Left hand can either stay here or maybe you bring that left arm around the lower back. Just planting it on the mat behind you. Maybe you reach back with the left hand and catch the right hand with the left hand, interlacing the hands. So this just really starts to work into the front of that right shoulder, relaxing the head down to the mat. And then it equally starts to open up that left side, the left shoulder as well. Breathing here, inhale, exhale. One more big breath, fill up, exhale. Rolling back to your belly. Good. Come back to the center of your mat. Maybe shift your body off to the right side of your mat a little bit. Send the left arm out to the left. Bring the left ear to the mat. Roll onto the left side of the body. Drop the right foot behind you this time. So set this up, adjust, and then maybe you reach that right arm around the lower back and just land it to the mat behind you. Maybe you reach back and catch the left hand with the right. To get an even deeper stretch, a deeper opening in the chest, press the heels of the hands together to touch. 
Breathe here. Release the neck. So all of this is attached, right? The chest, the shoulders, the neck, the back. So really starting to soften. Even the jaw, the muscles from the jaw that run down the sides of the neck. We hold a lot of tension there. So just soften. Release the jaw. Release the face. Big breath in. Big breath out. Come all the way back to your belly. Come back to the center of your mat if you shift it off. Hands come to the front two corners of your mat. Elbows go wide. And then on the inhale, roll the heart up off the mat. Gaze goes up. Find space. Moving with the breath. Exhale, lower everything down. Inhale, roll the heart up. Gaze is up. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, lower everything down. Last round. Inhale, roll the heart up. Gaze is up. Exhale, lower everything down to the mat. Hands come in line with the chest. Press up into an upward facing dog. The legs can stay down here, right? Because this is our first up dog. We're not doing a ton of movement. We're just focusing on the, ch the chest. Gaze over the left shoulder. Gaze over the right shoulder. Gaze left. Gaze right. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back. Come into your downward facing dog. Pedaling out here. So your first down dog, taking a deep bend in one knee, deep bend in the other knee. Shake the head out, yes. Shake the head out, no. Flubber the lips here. Come high on the balls of the feet. Drop the heels back down towards the mat. Good. Slowly start to walk the hands back towards the feet. You're going to bring the feet out to the width of your mat. Heels and toes out. Sit the seat back in space. And then just keep the hands out long in front of you just for a moment. Relax the head and the neck. So you're in like a horse pose with like the down dog upper body. Right? Shift side to side. And then slowly roll the hands to the inner thighs. We're gonna find some movement here. So you're gonna roll up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. When you reach the top, open the heart, and then bow down between the legs. Yeah, so opening up the spine, roll the shoulder, or roll all the way up. And then exhale, drop the heart, find space in the chest. Last time, inhale, roll up. Exhale, drop the heart. Good, this time roll up. And then drop the left shoulder between the legs. Gaze over the right shoulder. Press that left leg open with the left hand. So you're starting opening up that left shoulder. Inhale, come back through center. Gaze over the left shoulder. Press the right thigh open with the right hand. One more time each side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center, come all the way to stand. Pigeon toe the feet, windmill the arms behind you, and then just bow forward between the legs. So finding this wide leg forward fold, it's like a shorter wide leg forward fold with the hands interlaced overhead. So if your heels of your hands are apart like this, then you can press the heels of the hands together to get a deeper opening in the chest, and then press the hands away from you. Yeah, to like roll the shoulders away from the ears a little bit more. Relax the neck. One more big breath here. Inhale. Exhale, soften in the knees. Relax, release the hands down to the mat. And just crawl it back out to your downward facing dog. Next inhale, sweep the right leg up high behind you. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Runner's lunge, gaze goes up. Just starting to work into the hips so we can get into this pose. Exhale, straighten out the right leg. Then back into the right knee, lower the left knee, sweep the arms up to the sky. Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Arms are up high. Crack the heart open to the sky, goddess arms. We're going to move with the breath here. So you're going to sweep the arms forward, find length, all the way from the left foot to through the fingertips. And then you're going to rock the torso back, crack the heart open. Inhale, reach it forward, find length. Exhale, crack the heart open, rock it back. One more time, inhale, reach. 
Exhale, crack the heart open to the sky. Interlace the hands at the lower back. And then press the fist down that left thigh. Drop the head back. Big opening for the heart center. Stay here and breathe for three. For two. One. Release the hands down to the mat. Just step it back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Runners lunge, gazes up, find space. Open up the heart. Exhale, straighten the left leg, bow over the left leg. Bend back into the left knee, lower the right knee, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana, low lunge. Stay here for a moment, sinking into the hips, just waking everything up. Crack the heart open to the sky, goddess arms. Finding those sweeps. So you're gonna sweep the hands forward, scoop the arms forward. And then exhale, rock it back, find space. Three more times, inhale, scoop the arms forward. Exhale, open the heart, let go of something that no longer serves you. Inhale, scoop the arms, sweep it forward. Exhale, crack it open, surrender. One more time, inhale, sweep. Exhale, crack the heart open, interlace the hands at the lower back and then press the fist down the back right of the right thigh. Find space here, drop the head back. Maybe bend a little bit deeper in the left knee. Feel the release in the front of the right hip. Three, two, one. Release the hands down to the mat. Just step it back to your downward facing dog. Deep breath in here. Deep breath out. Bend the knees, lower the knees down to the mat. We're gonna come to standing on the knees. Hips are stacked directly over the knees. If your lower back is tight, tuck the toes under, okay? We're gonna find a camel pose. So either the, the toes are tucked or the tops of the feet are to the mat. Hands come to the lower back for support. The goal here is to keep the hips stacked over the knees. So start to press the hips forward, puff up the heart to the sky, like there's a rope pulling from your heart center up to the heavens. Drop the head back, keep pressing the hips forward, puff up through the heart. Maybe if you have space, you reach back and catch the heels with the hands. Stay here and breathe for three. Lift up through that heart center for two. And one. Slowly sit all the way back up. Come back to sitting down in between the heels on your mat or just on top of the heels. Right? If you are open, you can come into your Varasana Heroes Pose. Palms face up on the thighs. Just recenter for a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Place the hands out in front of you. And then just lower down to your belly. Bend the elbows. We're going to take Shalabhasana Locust Pose. Arms come long alongside the torso. Toes and heels to touch. On the next inhale, lift everything up. Reach for the back of the space. Try to bring the toes and heels together to touch. Gaze is slightly out in front of you. Lift up a little bit higher for three, two, one. Bring the right ear to the mat and just rest. Catch your breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Coming back to your center. This time, interlace the hands at the lower back. Press the fist behind you. Inhale, lift the heart. Lift the legs. Try to bring the toes and heels together to touch. Keep pressing the fist back in space. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Lift up a little bit higher for three, two, one. Left ear comes to the mat. Rest. Inhale, coming back to the center. Hands come alongside the chest. Inhale, press up into an upward facing dog. And then exhale, just lower the knees, cross the legs, and come all the way back to your seat. Plant the feet out in front of you. Hands come back behind you. Toe, or fingers point towards the heels. We're going to come into a reverse tabletop. So opening up the chest. Next inhale, press the feet into the mat. Lift the hips, drop the head back, open the heart. Breathing here for three. Lift up a little bit higher. Deep breath in. 
one lower everything down. Just windshield wipe of the legs side to side a few times. Just kind of opening up those hips, letting that go. And then come all the way back up to seated. Baddha Konasana. So anytime you do a lot of back bending, heart opening, you always want to seal that practice with the counter pose, so the forward fold. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, ground down through the sit bones, find a long spine. And then exhale, just fold over the feet. So you're pressing the tri or the triceps into the shins of the legs and then just prying the legs open. Rounding through the spine, releasing the head and the neck. Try to find some softness here. Every exhale, releasing a little bit deeper. Inhale, slowly start to sit back up. And then just come to lying on your back, making your way into your final resting pose. So just resting here in Shavasana for a few moments. Just taking a few moments to reset yourself and get ready to start your day. Or maybe it's the end of your evening and you're getting ready to wind everything down. So just rest here. It's taking a few moments to let this practice settle into the body. A few mindful moments. Namaste, wild heart yogis. Thank you for joining me. I hope you feel well.